My name is Andre, and I guess I'll take it, and then I'll just pass it to my left. So, um, basically, the one I think I've taken most um, valuable was the first one, I guess. You know, um, there was this guy named Christopher Rapp who came in. I think it's his name, Christopher Rapp, who told us, like, well, you have all these different networks, but which ones are actually working for you and which ones you're actually working with to make profitable and, and connecting with. And, yeah, that was my I, I really looked at. So, if, if you don't know who he is, Chris Rapp, he has a book out there. Look for his name. He's very, very famous. And, yeah. It's called Invisible Capital, by the way. Uh, my name's Thomas. Uh, I found, we actually yesterday uh, had one of our six, uh, one of our uh, full day sessions. Um, and yesterday we, we did a session on uh, collaboration um, and working together as a team, um, which seems to me to be really the heart of what differentiates cooperatives from uh, other businesses. Um, so I found that very useful to, to gain some skills um, in terms of helping to facilitate a cooperative uh, work environment. Um, I, yesterday we had a conflict mediation uh, workshop because we have to be real. We have to work together and working together in groups sometimes it's hard because there's different people that have different personalities. And so yesterday one of the greatest workshops that we had was on how to mediate conflict, how to be with each other in different communications, how to solve that so that we can create democratic processes and that actually sustain are sustainable in the long run. Because a lot of businesses fall apart because of internal dynamics. And so we really want to create that. And it's not just about building a business, but also be about building community within our own cooperative. Hi, I'm Justin with Nourishing Cities. Uh, yeah, I have to piggyback on with um, Karen and Tom on what they said about yesterday's uh, full day workshop on conflict management. 